Good morning, y'all. So it is the next day and I'm going to continue my front garden makeover today. The first thing that I want to get done today is pressure wash the front patio and get decorated and then we'll get to planting. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the current state of my front porch. I did get my house pressure washed a couple months back when they did my fence repair. So really all I'm gonna do is use my hose on the jet spray and just clean this off. It doesn't need like that deep pressure wash clean. And then we'll let it dry. While it's drying, I'm gonna get to planting and then we'll come back and decorate. So the pavers have set and dried overnight and they are locked in y'all like they are not going anywhere locked solid so i still need to come in with my polymeric sand and fill in the gaps which i probably will do off camera just because filming slows everything down and i just like to get that type of project done so i will do that later but i do want to go ahead and get the soil put down get my fertilizer tilled in and get this nice and ready for planting So if y'all have watched any of my previous garden makeover videos, y'all know that I never plan out my plantings in my beds. I just kind of like grab plants and lay them out, go with the flow. So that's what we're going to do today. Let me show you guys the first ones that I'm going to be planting. So as you can see, I have a whole collection of plants waiting to get in the ground here as well as over here. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of wing it y'all. First, I wanna plant up my front soup. Y'all know I do this every single year. So in my last video on my trip to the garden center, I picked up two flats of these gorgeous sun patients. They're by Proven Selections. They're called Compact Purple Impatience. These take full sun y'all. So they did amazing for me last year. Last year I alternated purple and orange. Decided to go with just one monotone color this year. I think it'll give a big impact. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these out first and then we'll decide what else is going in the bed. I told you I'm not yours anymore. No, I'm not yours. So why are you trying to hold on to hold on when I'm not there for you? Wanna take a different lane? Wanna play my own game? And I don't need you here. Right, y'all first row of plants is finally in the ground and oh my gosh y'all I cannot wait to see this fill in so I went to the garden center and picked up a few more things let me show y'all I got two flats of begonias and I also picked up some lemon coral sedum and some things for my containers so let's go ahead and get them in the ground
Okay, y'all, so I got the front bed pretty much planted the way that I want to. I'll probably fill in a few areas as I go, but before the sun moves over here too quickly, I wanna go ahead and plant up my back row here. I did go to Lowe's a couple weeks ago and I picked up five boxwoods on clearance, y'all. So y'all know I gotta have my evergreen backdrop. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those planted in the ground next. So here they are. When I tell y'all there was nothing wrong with them in clearance, they look so healthy and they're pushing so much new growth. Like, aren't they pretty? So yeah, let's go ahead and get these placed and in the ground. All right, y'all, I got all of the boxwoods planted and oh, they look so pretty, you guys. Like I'm loving that green color. Y'all know I love my evergreen backdrop. I think I'm gonna trim that one on the end just a little bit, just to make it a little bit more uniform, but oh, it feels so good to have some green back in this area here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating my patio.
All right, you guys, so I got everything planted that I want to get done today. And oh my goodness, you guys, it is filling in so nicely. Like, look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm loving the black and white and green vibes. I feel like I need one more tree on this side. Like I have another one of those pots. I might have to go get another gardenia. But anywho, I am loving the balance and symmetry so far. Really quickly, let me run through the plants that I have planted here for y'all. So down here along my front border, I have decided to do a drift of sun patience. They bloom all purple, and I think they're going to fill in so pretty, y'all. They did so good for me last year. Here's a look at their tag. So they're called Compact Purple Impatience. They grow 16 to 30 inches tall and wide, and their hardy zones 10A to 11B, I believe. Let me double check. Yep, 10A to 11B. So I think those are going to be gorgeous along the front border. And then behind them, I've popped in eight lemon coral sedum y'all and i cannot wait to see these beef up this one right here had like half the amount of roots of all the other ones so i'm hoping it'll catch up but i think it's gonna be so pretty with that row of purple followed by the row of lime so so pretty so here's a look at the lemon coral sedums tag it is by proven winners it takes full to part sun they get three to ten inches tall and wide and i'm not sure about their hardiness let me check their hardy zone 7A to 11B, so these are actually perennial for me, so I'm excited about that. And then down here in the front dead center of my bed, y'all know I need my balanced symmetry. When I stand right here in front, lined up with my window in the center, I popped in one hydrangea. This hydrangea is called Invincible Wee White. It is a smooth hydrangea by Proven Winners. Here's a look at this one's tag. That's what the blooms will look like. Gorgeous white puffs of snow is what I like to call them. So these take sun to part shade. They're hardy zones three through eight, and they only get one to two and a half feet tall and wide. So it'll be a nice little compact ball right in the center. And then behind that, I picked up three flocks from my local garden center. These are called Luminary Opalescence. Here's a look at this one's tag. They do take full sun. They get 30 to 32 inches tall and wide. So I think their height will work perfectly with the hydrangea. Just as kind of like a short little backdrop. These are, let's see, hardy zones three to eight. So we'll see if they come back. I'm in 8A, so they should be perennial for me, but I am so obsessed with their blooms. Like, look at this. I just can't wait. And then I did decide to pop in kind of like a little drift of the pink begonias. Let me see if I have their tag. So I believe these begonias are a newer variety to my garden center. I don't remember seeing these the prior years. I normally get the pink, the white, or just the solid red. I've never seen this two-tone. So I'm so excited about these. Here's a look at the tag. They're called Bada Boom Rose Bicolor. So they have like a white center yellow throat and the pink edges which i think is so so pretty these are annuals in my area they are part shade to shade hmm. that'll be interesting because i always plant these in full sun and they do amazing but anywho they get eight to ten inches tall and about six to eight inches wide not sure about their hardiness but i know they're not hardy here but i love the dark leaf begonias y'all let me give you a close-up because the sun is setting it's making the colors a little difficult to see. But I can't wait to see them fill in. I just kind of tuck them in. It's kind of hard for me to visualize what everything is going to look like because my daffodils are still up. So when those start to die back down, then I can finish designing the center of the bed. I have some hydrangeas that I'm going to be tucking in here. I also still have my salvia. I think I have one, two, three salvia. That anemone is going to be coming out today as well as these two boxwoods. But yeah, you guys, so far so good. I'm loving the bed. And then last but not least, I really don't want to stir Miss Gina. She just finished her meal, but y'all did see I planted this drift of winter gym boxwoods. I got these on clearance half off, y'all. Like these were $7 each and they are in perfect condition. So I'm so excited to see these fill in. I did dig up my giant hasa, y'all. I'm so sad to see it go. Y'all know I love that hosta. It's huge. It always got too much sun for this area, but I did not care. So I have divided it. Half of it is going to a friend and the other half I am going to relocate to the backyard in my shade area. But I will come in and plant more in this area eventually. I still have a bunch of stuff <laughs> I need to get in the ground here as well as over there. And then I also will come back and do my drip as well. I prefer to plant first and then run my drip lines. I know that's backwards. A lot of people do their grid first and then plant in between the grid lines. I feel like that is too 
constricting for my mind. Y'all know that I don't like plan out my garden beds ahead of time. I literally just came in here and winged this, y'all. And I love the way it's come together. Really quickly, let's talk about what's on my patio. And I'm so sorry for the sun glare. Let me try and turn this way. So I'm gonna start with my door first. This reef I picked up from Home Goods, and I think it screams spring and summer like i just love the simplicity of green and white foliage is all types of blooms in here you've got camellias roses tulips i'm not sure what this is but it's so pretty you guys like i just love the mix of everything you got some hydrangeas in here oh so so pretty and i love the size it's a larger reef and i think it fits my door perfectly i decided to keep my same mat from last year this one i picked up from kirkland's and then i have two hydrangeas over here off to the side that i still need to find somewhere to go i got those on clearance as well from lowe's i actually picked up five so there's two over here that need to be potted i did pop two into my containers here on each side and then there's still one in the center so I need to find a pot for those also, I popped in some Wallerianas. No, are these Wallerianas? Yes, they are. Oh my gosh, these are Rocapulcos, y'all. They're called Wisteria by Proven Winners. When I tell y'all, if you need a shade plant that blooms profusely all summer long with no care, get these. I'm telling you, they did amazing for me last year. I picked the purple ones up this year. Still need to find something that will trail to fill in this area here. But yeah, you guys, I'm loving my pots up here so far. This is the first time I've planted them, I want to say, in like three years. They've been sitting on my back porch, and I never planted them up. So loving them so far. And then over here, I popped in a hibiscus. I picked this up from Home Depot a while ago. It was in full bloom when I purchased it, and now the blooms are kind of fading out. So I'm hoping I'll get a second flush, but it's gorgeous, you guys. It's a two-tone bloom, if you can kind of see the colors in here. It's like a pink and purple two-tone. So love that. And I will come in with something trailing along the front. I also planted my gardenia tree, y'all. This thing was in full bloom when I bought it. And the fragrance on this, oh my gosh, y'all. The whole car ride home and it's been living in my garage. It smells amazing. Like the blooms themselves. Like look at this. It looks fake, you guys. This looks like a fake wax flower. But it's real and it's so loaded with buds like look at this got a bud here bud here bud here buds in the back like oh i just cannot wait to see them all open up and smell their fragrance i put it right here by the front door just because i love smelling them in and out the door every day i decided to keep my old cushions i've had these cushions i want to say for three seasons now i definitely need to wash <laughs> The cushions, they're a little dingy looking, but I think they still work. I love the blessed pillows. Those are from Walmart. Gina. Gina, Gina. Um, I think I'm disturbing her. So let, let's, let's wrap up up here. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, I was disturbing her piece. She's very skittish. She does not let me pet her or touch her, but she knows my voice when I'm giving her food so I just let her do her thing but anywho last but not least I wanted to talk about my curve over here I have not decided what I want to do with this yet I kind of like the fact that my lamb's ear circles the whole tree and then maybe I can come in and do something along the border or I was thinking I can make the ring wider and have it come all the way to the edges and plant on the inside I don't know still debating on that just because I feel like planting on the inside of the ring I'm gonna be running into a lot of tree roots so I kind of prefer to leave it the way I have it and I'll find something pretty to plant around the border here and then I think I have decided that I want to finish the curve up to here and then we'll find some other way to connect this here but guys that is the update on the front garden bed extension so far i am going to wait to mulch this bed until i finish running my drip so that will be in another video i'm so sorry y'all don't get the finished look i really hate when i watch makeover videos and i don't get to see the finished product all in one video but trust me i will definitely give you guys updates as i'm updating this bed so that is going to wrap up today's video thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the transformation i hope you guys love it as much as i do oh, it just feels so good to have some color and order back up here and y'all i am loving my wreath isn't it cute and look at my shirt my boyfriend got this for me my kitties just turned four yesterday jory and jensen 
it's so fitting and perfect <laughs> but anywho thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up it really helps out my channel subscribe for more and i will catch you in the next one peace